Afide Guam, I'm Leah Clavea with the Joint Region Marianas Public Affairs Office and welcome to another segment of Island Images. Today I'm at the Guam Micronesian Island Fair where different island nations gathered together to share a little bit about their culture. Today I want to discover a little bit about the culture from the Federated States of Micronesia or FSM. FSM are independent sovereign states that comprise of Yap, Kushrai, Chuuk and Ponape. Follow me as I discover this. Hi, I'm Leah Clavea. Hello, my name is Kukulin Kalen from the Bombay Fisero Spiro and I'm the point of conduct for the Bombay delegation oh. and this is Bombay food. What makes Ponpei so unique and special? Ponpei is really special because we do the sakau pounding. Sakau is like a kava. Kava is a peppermint that uh, was, it's a plant. We use that uh, to welcome people. We use it for all our traditional activities. These are really pretty. These are made out of uh, the pantanus leaf. Oh. It's the pantanus leaf and uh, hibiscus. These are, the, these are the hibiscus mm -hmm. fibers. Wow, they're big. These are the ones that we use in Bombay. We use the locals, we call the grass skirts. This is also uh, coconut, coconut, oh no, pantanus leaf. And you guys make these, mm -hmm. these, these purses. Yes. We have the Bombay pepper, locally grown in pepper. Bombay. Cinnamon. Those are cinnamon sticks? Mm -hmm. Cinnamon oh. sticks. And what are these? These are... Is this fish? These are salt uh, tuna fish. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. These are... Coconut oil. Coconut oil. I have a bunch of this at home. And the local skirts up in the North Pacific. Only Bombay do this. Sakau, the plant that I was telling you, that's the leaf. Oh! Mm -hmm. This uh, plant or flower, we call it por, and it's only used, uh, the traditional chiefs, paramount chiefs, they only use this. Uh, so when visitors come to Bombay, VIPs, we only use this por. How are Welcome. you? Welcome, I'm Grant. This is the Kushai Island booth. So, uh, can you tell me a little bit about Kushai? Kushai Island is a small island east of Guam, about three hours flight. It is a high mountainous island with some beach and fringing reef around the island. It's about 45, uh, 42 square miles. We have 8,000 people who live on this island. We have our own language. We have our own culture, historical sites, and ancient forest. I know that Kwashrai is the island of the sleeping lady. Yes. So can you tell me a little bit about that? The sleeping lady legend is uh, a legend that depicted how the five villages on the island were made long time ago. There are five villages on the island. Okay. And each of us live in harmony. We have our, you know, get together, do events, and just like a normal community. It's a very close-knit community. Mm -hmm. We have Fafa, mm -hmm. which is only made on Kushai Island. And explain and a little bit for our viewers, uh, what, what is Fafa? Fafa is a traditional food. It's a dish made from soft taro. Go to the jungle, get, I mean the taro patch, get our uh, soft taro, bring it home, uh, steam it in the local earth oven, the um. Uh, probably put it there for about 45 minutes to an hour, take it out and then we peel it off, put it in a top and then our fava pounder, he comes over and start pounding it. It takes hours to do this. So This oh, is a replica of that. Uh, so that's a fava pounder. Fava pounding stone. It's actually a stone but this is just a replica. Okay. Yeah. You, you peel it, we pounded it and we transfer it into uh, a dish. Uh, the dish uh, 
we form it into small balls and we line it up in a dish. There's a special sauce for it. Uh, we simmer the sauce over a period of time with local coconut milk and a uh, little bit of sugar. It will turn red, that sauce. When it's really red, that means it's uh, complete, fine, ready to use. So we uh, put the sauce over that uh, fafa, yeah. which is already in the plate. Yeah. And serve for us. Fava is so special that if you don't find it on the feast table, it is not a special feast. Aww. When Vava is there, you know it's special. Yes. Take it from me, if you ever go to Koshrai, you need to try Fafa. It's amazing. But I know that it's ceremonial and only men make it. Oh yeah. Um, the reason why only men made Fafa, it is a really deeply rooted tradition passed down from long ago, which we, we, we really never, uh, you know, uh, try to change it. And the women accepted that. Uh, it's just it's just a thing that is passed down and normally men are selected. Because one of the things that a papa maker has to do is to climb that coconut tree. And you know, women, you know, they don't really want to climb that tree. But, uh, and, uh, Let's go,